Hey guys, my name is Jeanette Fryer and I am the owner and creator of Jabelle Chic. So, for today's video, I have planned a very fun tumbler with a very fun adhesive vinyl. So, I think you guys are going to love it. However, full disclosure, this is going to be one of those tumblers. I don't have any direction as to how it is going to turn out. However, I do have a vision in my head as to how I want it to turn out, but I've never done something like this. Um, just something similar, but you know, just nothing kind of like what am I going to put into this? So you guys are going to have to watch the video and see. Hi. Also, if you are new to my channel, you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. And also, I have also created a new Facebook group where we share our ideas and just get inspiration from each other. So I hope you guys will consider joining that group as well. I will leave the link to that group in the description below. Of course, all the supplies that I use in this video, I will do my best to link those as well. Also, before I forget, if you have not clicked that like and subscribe notification bell so you won't miss out any of my future content. So I think that is enough for me. I am excited to jump into this Tumblr with you guys and get to creating. So let's create. All right, you guys, let's go. You guys, first and foremost, I want to say full disclosure on this tutorial because you know how you have a Tumblr and you have an idea in your head, but you're really not sure as to how the idea is gonna turn out. So this is one of those tumblers. So you all are gonna learn with me as we complete it. I did have an inspiration for this tumbler from Diamonds and Dust on YouTube. So I thought I would try my spin on it as well. So we are starting with a fully prepped and sanded tumbler. It is a 20 ounce skinny by Dope and Crafty. And I have fully prepped, I mean sanded it and painted it a matte flat right flat white by Rust-Oleum. So the glitters that we're going to be using for this tumbler is, and I am one of those tumbler makers that I just don't stick to one type of glitter. I believe in sharing the wealth and everyone should have, you know, a variety of glitters from a variety of vendors. So I try and order, you know, different vendors as, you know, just whatever type of glitters that I like. So we're going to be using satin sheets by Blend Bling. Sugar Cane by Mr. Nola's Glitter, and Color Caridium is kind of like a chunky silver mix by Glitter and Blanks. And the vinyl that we're gonna be using, I think I got this from an Etsy vendor. I will try to link the name of that vendor below in the description box, but it is a pretty matte zebra print vinyl. For our glitter, to apply our glitter, we're gonna be using Glitter Glue by Crystal Like. And to apply that, just a regular makeup brush, which seems to give the best coverage in order to make, in order to get those smooth lines. So, since I want my vinyl to end up here, um, the length from when I take my tumbler off is about 2.5 in. And since I want my vinyl to end up in the middle, I have went ahead and pre-measured those marks. So I think it is about, let me see, two and a half inches in from top to bottom, okay? So that is where I'm gonna put my tape lines to tape off my tumbler. So I'm just gonna be using my little tumbler buddy. I didn't want you guys to see me bowing, trying to get that tape as straight as possible. So I went ahead and did that process off camera. And now I have my lines straight as to where I want them. So in order to start off, we're gonna start off with applying just white glitter to the entire tumbler. And so we're gonna start with our glitter glue first. off we're gonna start with sugar cane by Mr. Nola's glitter and we're just gonna coat all three sections
Y'all know I like to use my good old trusted extra hole hairspray. So in order to get a second kind of coverage on this, I am going to use my hairspray to get a, another coat, but not so thick. So with that second coat, I am going to use the sprinkler. So, because I don't want it as thick, if you get what I'm saying. So my trash can is to the uh, right of me. I'm just gonna go over here. Well, I'm gonna go, I am going to move it to the left of me. So I am just going to spray it. Just slightly, not a lot. So I can get a kind of second cover, second coat with the glitter. So that's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, it is giving me kind of another coverage, more coverage with the glitter. I gave out. Just taking the tumbler and just tapping it just to make sure I get that excess glitter off next we're gonna go in with color Korean I cannot pronounce that it uh, by glitter and blanks and we're gonna add our little glitter burst of glitter in the top and the bottom sections in order to get that coverage of course I am going to use my hairspray again so I'm just gonna spray right here at the bottom and at the top as well all right, so I am not putting any of this in the middle section. So I'm just targeting all of this color right up against the top sections. Top section for now, and then the bottom section as well. I thought I wanted to use bling bling. Um, however, I am not going to use that. I'm just gonna go back in with Sugar Cane by Mr. Nola's Glitter and just kind of make sure that I got good coverage at the top and the bottom. The middle, I am not so worried about good coverage because we are going to cover that up with bottom. So, I just wanna make sure everything is nice and covered and I have no spots. All right. So next we are going to take a baby wipe and pat down our glitter. Oh, in order to see my lines, I actually did um, just fold the tape into each other so that I can see the line when I remove the tape. So this is what we're left with so far. So since I do have a couple layers of glitter on here, I am going to let this dry probably overnight. And then I am going to seal it with two times matte clear by Rust-Oleum, apply two thin coats of epoxy, and then we'll be on to our next step. So here we go. So I want to first explain what I did here before applying my two thin coats of epoxy. So I did have an area where I did not have glitter applied to. So before applying epoxy, I just thought that since I didn't want that end in and there, although I could have covered it up with epoxy, it would have been even. My OCD got the best of me and I just didn't want to chance it. So I just went back in with some glitter glue and put glitter here and there, um, seal this with two times back clear by Rust-Oleum and apply two thin coats of epoxy. From there, I sanded my top edges, my bottom edges, cleaned the inside and the bottom as well. So now we are ready to apply our fun zebra pattern. So I have went ahead and cut this to about 3.5 in height and that is just a measurement on this white portion here and I just left it the same width like 12 as to um, what the bottle actually came in all right so to start off we're going to take our 
zebra pattern vinyl and I am just going to get it started and I just pull just a little bit away from the biking sheet and I just kind of left that there and I am going to just take my scissors and just cut just a little bit away from it okay so now I am going to line this up I can I got a little bit folded over all right so now I'm just going to line this up along my white portion here and just trying to make sure I get it kind of straight well as straight as I can get it and sure it's straight up and down so this is a 20 skinny straight so I'm hoping that when I wrap it around, everything is exact. So, since I have that started there, I am going to carefully start peeling away the biker. And while I'm doing that, I'm just continuing to smooth my vinyl down and twisting my cup. Okay. Right, let's try this again. All right, so I apologize if I'm just like, all in the frame but I'm just trying to make sure I get this right so I'm just using my fingers and just carefully pushing the biking away while I'm applying the vinyl all right it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing so let's just pray it continues that way so just don't rush this process just try to take your time you are in no rush only with yourself so just take your time all right so it did end the way I wanted it to end so everything is even so like I said just take your time and just make sure everything is nice and smooth all right I am going to, where this vinyl right here overlaps, I am just going to take some, I don't know, I just take a piece of, piece of washi tape. It's the closest thing I had to me. I'm just going to take a piece of washi tape and like I said, I don't want to risk it not being, not, you know, ending where it's supposed to end so where that ended is i just place it just like a hairline above it so when i cut it when i cut the vinyl from it just to get that straight edge i am not going to be showing any of the white glitter underneath if you get what i'm saying for my exacto knife and it was just right under my nose all right, so now we're going to get ready to cut this vinyl away, the excess vinyl. So like I said, I applied my washi tape and now I am just going to take my X-Acto knife and just cut along that the line where the washi tape is. And apply a good amount of pressure because sometimes it can be difficult to pull away. Now I have my line cut. All right, so we are good to go. All right, everything is nice and good. Let's go ahead and get this decal on this tumbler and finish it up. So the decal that I have chosen is wild and free. And I thought this was very cute for this particular tumbler because of the zebra stripes and Hey, we just want to be wild and free so this is what this is the look I'm going for so the decal I did get from Etsy and I sized it about four by three by six so I also the same concept that you guys have saw me apply with my previous videos I did do a offset feature with this so I chose black for the background and then a metallic pink 
I will post a link as to where I got this metallic pink from, but I thought this pink would make the tumbler really pop. So I also wanted to add some lines around this zebra print as well, just to try to make, you know, close it up and just try to make it, you know, pretty. We're gonna make our tumblers pretty. All right, so same thing. I did an offset kind of thing. I printed out the black line about 11 by 0 0.139 and the, the little inset pink line I printed out at 11 by 0 0.056 all right so same thing I just had the black laying down and I took the pink and I just hand placed it in the middle if you, if you can see that so I just placed it by hand and just placed it in the middle of that black line and it just created a created a little offset kind of line feature. So we're gonna place our black and pink lines first. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna cut off the excess of the pink. And I am going to start at the seam in the back. Y'all have to excuse my accent. I am straight from Georgia, so straight Georgia girl. All right, so I'm just gonna place it there. I'm gonna butt it up against the zebra print pattern and just follow that around. So I think that would give me a kind of the straightest edge. Really nicely, I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut off that excess. We're gonna do the same thing for the other line. I'm gonna start here at the seam. I just clipped off the excess and it gave us that. I think it just, y'all have played, like I said in the beginning, I played this tumbler out in my head so much and it has finally come true. All right. All right, so now I'm gonna apply our decal and I think it's good to go ahead and apply it if I felt that that was gonna be some overlap, or I'm gonna have a little overlap down here, but I don't think it'll really matter once I get the epoxy on it. But if I was doing a larger decal, it probably would matter because I would have overlapping everywhere. So I want it to end in the, I want it to be center. Um, so I am not gonna put it where the seam is in the back because I don't know, I just don't wanna put it there. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle. down the way I want it to lay down and I really think that pink is just popping and sometimes I think sometimes I'm thinking when I do a tumbler that I need to add more but for this tumbler I think you know less is more less is good you know and I think this is just enough so since I have all these little pieces that I need to lay down and get straight I am going to seal this with quick coat by CC DIY because I want to ensure everything is nice and flat I'm gonna let that dry for about 30 minutes because you don't wanna apply it to epoxy if it's not completely dry. And then I'm gonna apply two thin coats of epoxy. And of course, I'm gonna apply my bright to my epoxy as well because I love that shine to the top coat. And then we will be on to finishing this tumbler. Stickers, and once again, we are done. Um, I don't know, I just love saying that. But you guys, let me get back to the tumbler. So of course in the video, you saw that we did start off a little shaky, but that is okay. We regrouped, we pulled it together, and we made it happen. So of course after we applied our decals, I did apply two thin coats of epoxy just to give it that smooth glass finish that I love. And y'all, look at that, look at that decal. I am feeling so wild and free right now. So I am very pleased with this tumbler. It turned out amazing. And like I said, I did apply Quick Coat by CC DIY to the decals before I applied the epoxy, just to make sure I did not have any lifting. And it turned out beautiful, y'all. It's just like, I don't know, this has got to be one of my favorite tumblers, you know, with the burst of the silver coming through with the white, and then of course the lip, I mean the zebra print in the middle. 
Um, like I said, sometimes simple is just enough and I think this tumbler was just very simple, very easy to make and I am very proud of it. So once again, if you guys have questions as to how I created this tumbler, please reach out to me in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. So once again, with all my videos, I am excited today for this quote. The quote for today's video, it is a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. So that's with all things in life. You know, you may start off a little rocky, you may start off a little slow, but please don't quit. Just keep going, just keep driving, and just keep pushing yourself to motivate yourself and just inspire your own self because, you know, we are our biggest motivators. So I urge you all, you know, just pertaining to tumbler making and things like that, just don't quit. Just keep going because you never know your full potential unless you try. All right. So once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. And please don't forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content. So until the next video, you guys stay blessed and I will see you all soon. Once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. Also, I have created a new Facebook group in which we all get inspiration from others. It is a safe space to create and share. The link to the group is listed below. Until next time, stay blessed and continue creating.